Hi, fourth graders. This is Miss Ray coming on to give you a little tutorial on how to write a letter format using Google Docs. So hopefully your teacher has given you a blank document, something like I'm looking at right now. Um, we're gonna use this toolbar a lot, so make sure your screen is completely open so you're able to see all of the options of our toolbox. The first thing we do is change the font size. Google Docs has a default size of 11. That's really, really itty bitty when you print it out, and we don't know the community worker we're gonna send this to, so they may have difficulty reading the text that you give them. So we're gonna change it to 14, or you change it to 18. 18 is pretty large if you don't have a lot to write, 18 would be perfect. Then we look at the font style. I know a lot of you like this homemade apple where it gets all cursive and fancy, things like that, but we're gonna stay away from that because this cursive makes it kind of difficult for adults to read. So keep it simple. Use like Arial or Cambria or Times New Roman. I like Cambria, it's kind of cute. All right, then you use this toolbox to go from the left side of the paper to the right side of the paper. So right now we're on the left side of the paper. This is my cursor, okay? It's blinking right now. When I go to the right align, it's gonna put my cursor on the right side of the paper. So this is where we wanna start typing and letter formats have a date on the top of their letter. So dates are kind of written different. I'm writing today on April 11th. So I put the day's date first, then April, then the year. If you're writing on the 14th, the 13th, anything like that, that's where you start. So it's gonna be like the 13th, April, 2020. Okay, then we need to skip a line. And to do that, we need to look down at our keyboard and press the key enter. When you press that enter, it goes to the next line. Follow my cursor if you can't see what it's doing. It went from 2020 down to the next line. Okay, don't touch anything until you've gone back over to this toolbox and pressed left align. Okay, did you see that? My cursor just went from the far right to the far left. Okay, this is where we write, write our um, dear, whoever we're addressing it to, okay? This is where we write our greeting. So I'm gonna write dear community worker. Um, this may be to a mail carrier, it may be to a grocery shop worker or grocery store worker, anything like that, nurse, doctor, whoever. Okay, because we put the comma there, that means that it's addressed to them. They know that it's only to them that they're addressed to, dear community worker, comma. Okay, then we move on, press enter. I like to press it twice so that it goes down a couple lines, kind of separates the um, greeting from the actual letter. Okay. This is super important because this is how we start our paragraph. And we're gonna go down at our keyboard again and press the key that says tab. My writing class knows that you only press tab once to start the paragraph. So um, we're gonna start our letter. I understand these times are difficult for everyone, but I know in my heart you are working hard to keep everyone safe. And I can go on and continue my letter. I want you guys to be able to think of what you want to put in your letter so you don't copy Miss Ray. But I'm going to just put some nonsense words. I'm going to put space, blah, 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 blah. So I'm finishing my paper. Okay, I've finished my letter. I'm done with what I needed to say. And then I press enter again. So I go to the next line. I can press it again, and you can actually add a little PS. PS means postscript. So whatever you didn't put in your letter, you can give a little note at the bottom just to say, thank you again so much for what, oops, what you do. And I hope you are paying attention to all of these red marks, because if you turn it in with a bunch of red marks, that means something's wrong with it. You need to change the spelling or the grammar, something like that. Okay, we're done with our postscript. You press enter again, and this is where you put sincerely, comma, your name. And of course, I'm not gonna put Miss Ray. They will know me by my first and last name. I'm just doing this for the tutorial, but you're gonna put your first and last name. All right. I hope that tutorial helps and I'm looking forward to seeing all of your letters.